this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a really quick video today. I was about to leave the house on my way to some PAX pre-parties and then I checked the internet. Oops. Wizards of the Coast posted yesterday while I was doing my financial video announcement day. What is announcement day? Announcement day is where Wizards of the Coast drops a bunch of bombs about things that are coming up. One of these is super important to finance and I wish I had known about it before I did the finance video. I may have to do a whole nother finance video next week over it. But let's look at these announcements really quickly here before I head out the door to PAX pre-parties. Number one, we've got the next major set coming up it's egyptian themed if you didn't know i freaking love egyptian themed stuff might be a huge fan of egyptian themed things i've read the book of the dead i've read a bunch of egyptian mythology i'm so excited about this five gods in the first set i think that's gonna be 10 gods total in the whole block who are we gonna see we're probably gonna see bast we might even see isis or mata but Almost guaranteed. Horus. Raw. This is going to be so great. I'll do a video on Egyptian mythology, predictions on the gods, all of that type of stuff coming up. And I've got to go rewatch some Stargate because that's just hella fun. The second set was also announced in the block. Hours of Devastation. What's said about it? Absolutely nothing. Next announcement. Alchemy Nickel Bolas. I don't know. We don't know anything about this. This is going to be a chance for some cool reprints and some fun multiplayer stuff. Um, Arch Enemy, not Alchemy. Never been a giant Arch Enemy fan, but it really depends on who you play with. You got the right people and it's a hell of a lot of fun. I'll go into this more when we know a little bit more. So why am I doing this emergency video? Is it for the Mind and Might deck? Uh, no, maybe we'll have another Jace as a planeswalker in it? Mind, I'm not sure. Who knows? It's not this announcement. Is it because of Puzzle Quest? Announcements coming up with regards to Puzzle Quest and Kaladesh. Nope, that's not the reason. This seems really cool. I got to play some of this over at Gen Con. I've got an interview coming out about this. What really has me here is two announcements that are still left here number one commander anthology yes june 2017 so not even done during the middle of the christmas season a 175 dollar msrp commander set with four of the previous commander products look at which ones heavenly inferno evasive maneuvers guided by nature plunder the graves this is a huge financial announcement they just told you which cards they're reprinting in these look at those i'll have this in another finance video when i've got more time but the last one the one that is super important here i mentioned this in my financial video before this announcement was even made and i've been talking about this for months we're having another modern masters yes modern masters 2017 due in march not in the middle of summer March, early, early next year. Crazy. And looking at this particular set, the thing that you're really going to have to think about is which modern cards in the Innistrad through Return to Ravnica area could end up dropping like this. This is great for players. This is great for people who want commons, uncommons, rares, Snapcaster Mages, Liliana the Veil. Okay, Lily won't drop that much and Snapcaster will stay pretty stable, although we go down the same way that Noble Hierarch did and then back up. But outside of that, we don't know exactly what will be in there. But if you've got mid-range cards that you are sitting on there, you've got to get rid of them. There are a lot of different cards in there, including one that I might have mentioned recently, Graf Digger's Cage, that could very likely be in this. That might be up until it's officially announced and then way down afterwards. The opportunity to get out of some of those cards and get into some of the modern cards that are going to explode that are after this kind of Ravnica area is really, really important for trying to stay cost neutral while playing modern and building new decks. And if you're out at PAX, come say hi. Until next time, when we talk a lot about Egyptian mythology, choose the cards. Wisely. 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 Wisely.